Well, good afternoon, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from gorgeous, sunshiny San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Hope you guys are excited about this lovely day. Had this rolling around in my head this morning and it felt a little harsh for a morning video, so I'm bringing it in the afternoon. It's really simple. You're just not ready to change. It's really simple. You're just not ready to change. Can you please explain that to me, Steve, because that doesn't make sense. I certainly will. Whatever the issue is in your life that you are currently struggling with, whether it be your finances, whether it be your marriage, whether it be a relationship with a child, whether it be your job, your boss, your coworker, whatever it is that you are struggling with and complaining about at this current point in your life. Maybe it's lead generation. Maybe you've chosen a new career and said, Hey, I love watching HGTV. It's so exciting jumping in cars and showing fancy houses and making hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm gonna be a realtor. That's right, three syllables. You have to earn the right to have two to become a realtor. Until then, you're a realtor. Who knows what it is? Whatever area it is in your life that you're complaining about the most, the truth of the matter is, it's simple. You're just not ready to change. You're just not ready to change yet. You see why I didn't want to bring that this morning. I don't say this to make you feel bad. I say this so that you'll make yourself feel uncomfortable enough to have a conversation with yourself to decide if you enjoy the drama of the conversation more than you enjoy the actions and activities it will take to have an improvement in this area of your life. The area you are complaining about the most right now in your life is the area of your life that needs the most work. Let me say that one more again for those of y'all that want to get butt hurt real good. The area of your life that you are complaining about the most is the area that needs the most work. Did that make sense? The area that needs the most work is the one you're complaining about the most. And it's really simple why you're still complaining about that because quite frankly, you just aren't ready to change yet. There's an old saying that when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. The principles, the practicals, the realities, the laws are in place already, ready for you to take advantage of them. The reason you are not taking advantage of them is because you aren't yet ready. It's like Dave Ramsey in his Financial Peace University that talks about people who go through years of a major financial mess and don't fix it. He said they're like babies in a poopy diaper. They say, I know it stinks, I know it's messy, but it's warm and it's all mine. You are comfortable in your crap because you know how to feel like crap. You know how to talk crap to yourself. You know how to feel like a failure. You know how to feel like a loser. You know how to feel like you're not winning. What you have got the opportunity to learn is what it feels like to win. What it feels like to feel like you deserve to win. What it feels like to realize that like Rudy Rudiger once said, winning is not about what you're gonna get. Winning is about who you can become so that you can now give. You see, you win to give, you don't win to get. And when you understand what winning is for you and realize that the goal of winning is to serve other people to help them, then you'll wanna win. The issue is simple. You ain't ready to change yet. When you're ready to change, whatever problem any of y'all are in right now at this point in time, I guarantee you that if you were to Google for 30 minutes, that you would be able to determine very quickly several solutions to your problem. 
several solutions to your issue. The challenge is the familiarity of the crap and frustration and pain that you are currently coping with is actually more comfortable to you than the pain that it would take to make the change. Now here's the fascinating psychological reality of that based on the latest neurological research and science. There is something called activation energy. Activation energy is when you make the decision, decide, y'all know what suicide is, y'all know what homicide is, y'all know what pesticide is, it's the killing of a person, the killing of a nation, the killing of oneself, the killing of pests. When you decide, you are killing off every other option and you are making a decision, you decide to move forward. Once you decide to move forward, resources come together to support your endeavor moving forward. And although you may, in sincerity, lack resources, you do not lack the resourcefulness at that time to then begin to change your state, begin to change your thinking. This is crazy. I wish I could show you this. There's a dog. He don't care. He don't care. Look at this. I'm going to switch this up real quick. I don't know if y'all can see this, but right here in the alley coming up to my house, look at this. This little dog right here, and he don't even care. He's just like, run over me, man. Hey, what's up, little dog? I don't know who you are, but you're cute. Please don't stand in front of my car. I don't want to run over you. I wasn't about to hurt that dog, y'all. You have the ability to change the state that you are in and to gather the resources that you need. The challenge is activation energy is the energy that it takes to move forward in taking the action. Once you take the action, then you build the momentum. See, the challenge is not in doing the activity. The challenge is in the hard work in your head to take action and use that activation energy to take the first step to move forward once you've decided. That's the hard part, guys. The hard part is that activation energy to move forward. You see, the activation energy is all you, all you need is that moment to move forward once you've made the decision. And then once you start taking action, you get momentum. So what area of your life are you complaining about the most right now? Are you complaining about your marriage? Complaining about your health? Complaining about your current financial state? Complaining about your relationships? Whatever area you're complaining about the most is the area that needs the most work. And that work is going to begin in the way that you're thinking about it. Just like Shakespeare said in Hamlet, there is no good or bad, but thinking makes it so. You get to choose to define the situation the way that you want. Is this thing a blessing or a curse? Really up to you. My marriage is hell. Well, your marriage is hell because you're calling it hell. Your marriage could be heaven. Your marriage could be, you know what? This is an incredible opportunity for me to grow in maturity and truly demonstrate love that has nothing to do with feelings. This is an opportunity for me to truly show this person that I am going to continue to do the right thing and bless them and love on them because that's who I am. You can look at it every way. My teenager is such a butthead. Okay, fair enough. He's living hell. He's making life hell for me. Or you could say, this is incredible. This little sucker right here, dang, this little sucker is teaching me that I have blind spots in my life and my leadership and my ability to help raise him. Huh, what a blessing this kid is because this kid is helping me grow more than any of my other kids who are easy. This is incredible. There is no good or bad, but thinking makes it so. You get to choose what you call the situation. The issue with your life that you're going through right now, it's simple. You're just not ready to change. When the pain that you're currently in, okay, becomes greater than your perceived pain of taking action to move towards the solution. Let me say that again, let me back it up. When your perceived pain of your current situation, the pain that you're currently feeling, becomes greater than the pain that you're perceiving for taking the action moving forward to fix it. When this pain becomes greater than this pain, then you will move forward and take action. And once you start taking action, let me tell you something, you're gonna build momentum. Because the true test is using that activation energy to make the first step. You've got to take that first step. For things to get better, you gotta get better. For things to change, you gotta change. Ladies and gentlemen, it's simple. You're not ready to change. When you're ready to change, the resources will chase your booty down. 
Have a great day, guys.